Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe and notification bell so you know when I upload. Jumping right into today's video, I got this about two days ago in the mail, a little package from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm so excited to jump into this. I believe I mentioned this in my last purchase or pass video, but this is her Halloween collection. I'm stoked. Like, I'm so excited. I love Halloween and this just, I'm excited. So every order did come with some 3D glasses, which I think is cool. It has little bats on it. And it's because all of the packaging is 3D packaging, which is I think really cool. The only downfall to this is the fact that actual packaging on the palette is not the mummy and I think it would have been so cute if she would have done the actual packaging of the mummy too. But all of the names are spooky and we will get to that in a minute. I did also pick up, okay, this is one of her matte regular like bullet lipsticks. So yeah, I love it too. It has like little vampire lips on it and they have like fangs so all the packaging is super cute like I said it has a mummy on the palette packaging and the inside of it is purple with skulls so I have just done a few things to my face already so first I went ahead and primed my face I used the Juice Beauty Illuminating Primer I just did a video on Juice Beauty if you guys want to check it out I'm still trying this out and seeing what I think for a future hit or miss but so far, I'm not hating it. So far, I, I really am liking it, but we will see. For brows, I am having an Anastasia Beverly Hills night with my brow definer in the shade Taupe and my clear brow gel. I did go ahead and conceal around my eyebrows and I went ahead and did my lids too, but I have not sat my lids yet, so I'm gonna do that real quick too. But I used the Smashbox. This is their Studio Finish 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Kat Von D. This is the brightening powder, the locket brightening powder in the shade Petal. Oh my God, I just made a huge mess. All right, I went ahead and set my lids with the Kat Von D locket brightening powder in the shade Petal, just so that we are ready to jump into the eyes. I normally have my full face done, but there's been so many times where I've been irritated because of fallout and different things like that. So just in case, I actually thought ahead tonight before I sat down to film this and was like, okay, I'm trying out a new palette. Let's wait and do our foundation afterwards. I've honestly been enjoying doing my foundation last lately, which is weird for me, but I have been enjoying that lately. All right, so like I said, the Kylie Jenner Halloween palette, I don't really know like if it has like a name. I think it's just the Halloween palette. Yeah, I believe it's just the Halloween palette, but I really like the packaging and I'm definitely going to have to keep this because when you open it, it just looks like this. So it's fully black, which is cute. And then the, and the teardrops are like silver metallic. So it's a really pretty palette, but I kind of wish that the front was still the mummy since it is a Halloween themed palette. And then when you open it, you do have a nice slip in here and you also have a nice seal on your mirror, which I really like. So yeah, good size mirror for, you know, this size palette. And this is what the shades look like. Honestly, when I seen this palette, I knew I had to have it. Like just the shades alone just won me over. The top gold shade, that orange shade, the purple in this palette, that duo chrome top shade. Like I am just here for these shades. So I am gonna go ahead and swatch, whoa. Look at that pigment though. I've heard mixed reviews on Kylie's palettes. I am still kind of like a newbie to Kylie Cosmetics. I did purchase her birthday collection or some of the items from it. Besides that, I don't really have like any of her palettes that are just like the nine pan like this. So we're gonna just go ahead and dive into a look. I kind of feel like I'm just like all over the place. It's been a minute since I have filmed because last week I was just not feeling 100%. So that's why there was only like three videos last week. I do apologize for that, but I am human and <laughs> I am working my butt off for this week. So there's going to be some good videos going up this week. I know last week I mentioned in my Insta stories 
about a couple products that I was going to be trying out and some of them I did but some of them I did not. It was a rough week but I will have those coming this week for sure. I honestly wanted to sit down and film this one for you guys tonight because this is a Halloween collection so if you wanted to get it in time for Halloween you guys could jump on and order if they're still available I'm not sure but I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. Alright so like always I'm going to show you guys the shades. So this is Nightmare. Batshit Crazy, Main Boo, Hey Pumpkin, Best Witches, Howl, Oween, Sweet Poison, Hex on My Ex, and Freak On. Alright, we're going to jump into Howl, Oween, which is like a matte, like almost taupe shade. And I'm going to go in with my vegan blender from XO Beauty. I'm just going to lightly tap into this, tap off, and start our transition. I have no idea what look I plan on doing tonight, but we're going to start out with the transition and see how this matte formula is. That's a very pretty, like, transition shade, and it was very pigmented for a transition shade. Okay, next I am going to keep the same brush and I'm going to go in to Hex on my X, which is the purple one down here. You guys know I was going to use this shade. I'm a sucker for purples. All right, I went ahead and zoomed you guys up so that you guys could kind of see better what's going on with my eyes. I'm taking this Hex on my X shade right into my crease as well, just to kind of deepen it up, working more on the outer part and then slowly fading that into the crease. I'm going to take it in just a little bit on my lid, just like so. You can be a little messy with it if you recreate this because we're going to be putting another shade over that area, but just so this kind of blends together better. Okay, this is what I have. It's not as pigmented as I would like, so I'm going to go in with another layer of the purple just to deepen it up a little bit more. I definitely would have liked to see a lot more pigment with the purple shade. I do think it's pretty, but I do feel like it's a little patchy in areas. like to see more purple in it too. I feel like once applied, it's looking more like grayish almost. Hopefully it's picking up good on camera for you guys. I am going to go back into Halloween, which was our transition, and I'm going to just kind of blend out those edges a little bit. All right, next I'm going to take this Morphe M166. It is a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take Hey Pumpkin, bright pigmented orange, and I'm going to put this right on top of my lid. This is not a look that I would typically wear, so I'm really hoping this turns out good. I'm going to go back in with the EXO Beauty brush into the purple hex on my X and just kind of go on my crease again, blend those shades together, and add a little bit more pigment with the Hey Pumpkin on this side. I want that shade to pop. Clean it up. Definitely not a look that you see on my channel a lot, but I'm not hating it. All right, next I'm going to take this Morphe M578 brush. It is like a little pencil brush, but it's kind of like a thicker one. There you guys can kind of see it against my pale face. <laughs> and I'm going to go into the duochrome shade, which is Nightmare, right here. It is super pretty. So many different reflex. And it's almost like a sheer topper. So I'm going to stick this shade like on the inner part of my lid and my very inner corner. So I took that about halfway across my lid and as you guys could tell I kind of swooped it up so I went on the purple and on the orange and then just took it like halfway like I said. Such a pretty duochrome topper. It's not 
super pigmented, at least with a brush. It might be more pigmented when you use it with your finger or with a flat eyeshadow brush like this one with MAC Fix Plus or something like that. It might be a lot more pigmented. I'm gonna swatch it and just kind of see there. So I mean, it's pigmented, it's there, but it is more of a topper than anything. It's hard to explain, but it's super pretty. On this eye look, it's really pulling off like kind of like a gold sheen to it. I'm kind of digging it. I'm going to do more to the lower lash line, but I am going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face makeup and then we'll jump back in to the eye look. Alright, so I am back. I have all my face makeup on. I also did a wing with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Now we are going to go ahead and jump into the bottom lash line. I'm going to be taking this pencil. I'm not really sure what brand this is. I'm assuming Pencil Me In. But this is their Eye Accent Pencil in the shade Boysenberry. It is just like a deep purple shade. I think it will look good with this. So I'm going to put this in my waterline. Alright, I didn't get a whole lot of payoff with that pencil. But it does have a little bit of a purple tint in my waterline. So we're just going to run with it. But I'm going to go ahead, I think first, I'm going to take the Halloween shade that I used for my transition. And I'm going to apply this just along my lower lash line. First, I'm gonna go in to the Nightmare shade, the Duochrome, and add that back into my inner corner now that I've done concealer and foundation and such. Such a pretty shade. Now, with the same pencil brush, I'm gonna take that Halloween shade and just kind of start smoking this bottom lash line a little bit. Do not mind my horrid under eyes. The powder and concealer I used tonight are just not working together and they are looking a little rough. All right, now I'm gonna go into the Hex on my X, the purple shade, and with the same brush, I'm gonna start smoking this on my lower lash line. I'm taking the blender brush and like just toning it down a little bit because I did get a little crazy that pigment. It was a lot more pigmented on my lower lash line so I'm looking pretty smoky now. Alright, I'm going to curl my lashes, throw on some Benefit Roller Lash and some Demi Wispies I believe is what I'm going to use tonight. Alright, eyes are complete. Now we're going to jump right into the lip. So this is the shade Creep It Real, pretty cool name, but the packaging on this one is all black. Kylie Jenner is in that metallic silver once again. It is just your standard lipstick, don't mind all my swatches, but it looks like a really pretty nude, definitely is a matte formula. I have a lip liner here that is pretty close to it, so I am going to go ahead and line my lips. I don't always do that, but since I know kind of how her formula is already and I know that I like it, I'm going to line my lips. This is the Bella Pierre um, Gel Lip Liner in the shade number 2 Nude. I would say it's about time to pitch this or sharpen it down, see if it's better because I almost felt like I was exfoliating my lips with that. Now I'm going to jump right into Creep It Real. And here we have Creep It Real. I really like it. I think it's actually pretty flattering, especially on my fair skin. I was thinking that it was going to be like too weird, but it's a very comfortable nude that I feel like I would wear a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my final thoughts, but I also wanted to mention a couple other things as well. So first I wanted to mention that I have seen a few different videos of these products and Different things like on Instagram, I don't want to throw shade, but I was a little shocked at how many comments and even some influencers who were talking about this. Pretty much the whole gist of it was them saying, I don't know who would buy Halloween makeup from Kylie Cosmetics at that price. And I just thought, okay, maybe they're not like a big fan of Halloween and they just think that that's stupid or whatever. 
but the more comments or the more that I've seen from people, they were saying like, yeah, makeup that you're gonna wear once a year, you're not wanting to spend $42 and I think $17. And people were like agreeing with it. And I was just like, wait, okay, this is weird. So then it goes on and they were just talking back and forth and they're like Halloween cosmetic makeup. And I was just really confused. I don't know, is it just me? But this is different. So I think that's why they were just kind of like not really sure about it. Guys, it is a regular Kylie Cosmetics palette. Yes, it is Halloween theme. I think it's awesome. You don't see this like from anybody. I think it was an awesome idea. I am such a Halloween fanatic that I'm okay with it. Like I'm excited about it and I just knew I had to get it automatically when I seen that it was Halloween theme, but then not just that, the colors blew me away. Guys, these are wearable shades or shades that you can throw in looks all year round. This is not just Halloween makeup. It's not just Halloween makeup cosmetics or, you know, anything like that. It is just a regular Kylie Cosmetics palette. You can wear it all year round. Yes, the outer carton has a mummy on it, but the actual packaging is her normal packaging just in black. And yeah, the shades are like Halloween theme, but who cares? They're just like wearable shades that you can still use all year round. And she did come out with some other lipsticks. She also came out with like a highlighter and a gloss, a lip kit, all of that. Yes, all of the packaging is Halloween, but the actual packaging on the product is not. It's just black packaging, so I don't know. I was kind of thrown through a hoop with all of that. I didn't really understand why people were thinking that about it. Yes, Kylie Cosmetics is a little bit steep on price, especially since it's supposedly in the same factory as ColourPop, but I'm just shocked that people who buy her regular stuff were just like degrading on this product completely because it was Halloween themed. That's just my two cents in it, but yeah. Yes, the lipsticks are very out there. The lip kit was just a red. Everybody loves a good cool tone blue red. And the gloss was like a gold metallic gloss. There's tons of those out there in the cosmetic world. And the lipsticks were very out there and different. I definitely would like to get the other ones, but I'm like, I feel like I would never wear them. So I get where people are coming from with that. But that's why I personally went with the nude so that I could wear it all year round and it's a wearable color. It's not like just Halloween colors. All right, I'm done with my rant. Let's get into final thoughts on these. So the eyeshadow palette, I definitely wanna play around some more. I will do a palette review on my blog, probably. It depends. If this is just like a limited edition thing and it goes really fast, then I might not. But as of now, I like it. The formula is very pigmented. I did have the slightest amount of fallout, especially with the purple shade when I got to my lower lash line. Besides that, it worked really pretty. The purple shade honestly was pretty patchy when I was first applying it, but once I got through like the top layer of the shadow, I didn't have a problem with it. So I think if you just kind of get through the top layer of the shadow, then that might just be the issue, at least with that one. The orange shade was super pigmented, it still is. I think it's so pretty. The shades have kind of mixed together at this point or kind of like blended out hashtag hooded eyes for life. And the matte shade was beautiful, very pigmented and blended like a dream. And I still can't get over the nightmare duochrome shade. So pretty and I am here for it. So yeah, so far I'm loving the palette. The lipstick, of course I like, I think it's a very wearable nude and I'm loving it. I have been so into the dramatic eyes and the nude lip lately, so another keeper for my collection that I'm going to use all the time. Her matte formula is pretty comfortable. From what I've used in the past, it wears pretty good. It is a normal lipstick, so it is gonna wear off. You might wanna touch it up throughout the day after you eat, stuff like that. But besides that, it is a good formula and I do like it. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look down in the comments and if you guys are going to try to get your hands on this collection or not. I think it is super cute. I'm excited to keep playing with it and I might even use it for Halloween. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. It's
Rock hard in a flash.